remembering Abdul Rahman Kassig. Today, a public service was held at Clues Memorial Hall. People spoke about how the former Butler student left academia to help people in need. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet is live outside of Clues Hall with the story. Ebony. Drew, the Kasich family was here tonight along with city and state leaders and hundreds of people from the community for this somber memorial service that many people say was also very inspiring. What keeps me up at night isn't the things I've done when I shouldn't have, so much as the things I haven't done when I could have. Words written by Abdul Rahman Peter Kasich read to a crowd of people, many who say they're moved by his story without ever meeting him. I admired him so much. I've gotten old and I didn't do so many things or anything that brave. This memorial is intended to honor the way Kasich lived rather than the way he died. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. A slideshow reveals images of a young Kasich before he enlisted in the U.S. Army, before attending Butler University, and before his family says a spring break trip to Lebanon inspired his humanitarian work in the region. There were many of them that had the parents and the love between them and seeing him at all the different stages of his life. Speakers told of the ways the 26-year-old gave and sacrificed and said his life should be an example to us all. We all need to just do what we can to bring our brick to the building to be a, a, a part of, of what we can do to make the world a better place. In lieu of flowers, the Kasich family asked people to donate to SAMS. It's a nonprofit organization providing medical aid to people in Syria. You can find more information on the IndieChannel.com. Reporting live at Butler University, Ebony Monet, RTV6. Thanks, Ebony. And go to our website, TheIndieChannel.com, for a look at a slideshow of family photos showing Abdul Rahman Kasich over the years. You can also take a look back at the stories we've covered since learning of his capture.